and safety as our number one priority. Professional wheel chalker. Right there. Right. Right. That's going nowhere. Nowhere. Come on. Let's go. Welcome to Shade Tree Mechanic. Uh, uh, it's not Shade Tree Mechanic, you guys all know that. We are about to do an oil change on this 2015 Ford Focus. And keep in mind, safety is our number one priority. Professional wheel chalker. Right there. Right. Right. That's going nowhere. Nowhere. We also got professional jack stands and a professional jack. I'm going to show you how to change the oil on this 2015 Ford Ford Focus. See, that's what it is. I just drew a blank. Anyway, we're going to get this thing jacked up. I'm going to jacked up. <laughs> we're going to get this thing lifted off the ground. Put the jack stands under it. And I'm going to show you how to change oil. Let's get to it. Cement is really good on the knees. Oh. Thanks Ford for covering everything up so I can't see where to jack from. But uh, yeah. we'll make it work. No job goes off without a hitch. It would appear Mark's jack's broke. That's only as high as it'll go. Now I can't get it to go down. Makes no sense to me, but it is what it is. Because it only goes that high, I can't get the jack stand under it as per our safety rules. So, we cut this. All I need is a couple more inches. <laughs> and I can get it up a little more. Never mind. But the vice grips, we're going to try and let this jack down. Gonna have to get serious. All right, we're done asking. Yeah, you know who's the boss, don't you? Y'all leave a comment down below and let Jenny know that I need to buy a jack. It's, it's legit. It's broke. Alright, I managed to get the big overgrown jack out using the little bottle that could. And I got it on a jack stand, so I think that is uh, safety approved. Now time to get to work. Alright, what a mess. We finally got the car in the air. But Ford, why in the world would you not make that an ordinary square head or Robertson screw? I'm guessing y'all got to be special. That's it right there. I just don't understand. Let's get this uh, mat out of here. So we see what we're doing. Well, that's going to take forever. We got to fix that. Sometimes you just got to customize your own tools. Here's what we did. 
I need this end. I don't need that handle. It's hot. I could have probably had all them screws out by now for the time it took to cut that handle off of here. So this tool we need. I want to use the drill because it's going to be a little quicker. Cut the handle off. Huh? Huh? What do you think of that? All right, we got the mat off. I remember last winter putting a battery in this car and it fought me all the way. And uh, it, it still don't like me. But we're about to change the oil whether she likes it or not. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not sure who put that in last, but ain't no need to torque it all the way to Toronto. Don't drop the drain plug. There we go. And no metal on the plug, which is good. We'll let that drain set off to the side. All right, guys, the oil's done. Make sure you keep that rubber seal. Make sure it's not stuck to the motor. It's not, obviously. We're gonna put the plug back in and we're gonna get the oil filter off. Time for the oil filter and we'll see how, how tight they put this on. Yep, tight. All right, here we go. That's not bad. Worst case scenario, old school, you take a screwdriver and you punch it in the side and twist the filter off. That will create a mess though. Just throwing it out there so does this all right here's where I'll give Ford just a little bit of credit this oil filter is straight up and down not on an angle which makes it a lot easier because you want to fill your oil filter before you put it on. You also want to make sure that you oil the seal. That way you get good adhesion. Good sticking. It stays in place. Get this back in place here. quarter turn that is it now we got to put the cover back on and we're done under the car who's winning this fight now all right the underside is all buttoned up now I'm gonna wrestle with this jack here I'm gonna have to use the big one to get the little one out and the jack stand then let that one down and yeah it's probably gonna be a little bit of a mess but We'll make it work. Remember when I said this car fights me every time I work on it? Look at my jack. Just started leaking all the hydraulic fluid out of it while I was under the car. That's why you never, never trust the jack alone. That's why you got the stands and the professional wheel chuck at the back. I'm going to take care of this right now. we need that anymore 
All right, we are above the car now, finally. Then laying on the ground. This takes 5W20. Right there. If I'm not mistaken, this takes five liters. You see what I mean? Oh, we are good. We are good. All right, well, that's going to do it. We're going to dispose of the old oil properly. That's how you change the oil on a 2015 Ford Focus that likes to fight. Didn't whoop me today. We put a whooping on her. See you on the next one. Later. I don't think I was in the frame for that shot, but here's what we did.